and should we run? Suddenly I felt something grab my leg with force and tried pulling me down into the water. I kicked, splashed, and yelled for help. James What's up YouTube, it's your boy Real G. I'm back with another video called um, Scary Triple Horror Stories Animated. It's a true story. The animated one, but you know, it's called a uh, Scary True Horror Pool. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, Scary True. Let's see what it's all about. It was approaching the end of summer, and my friends and I wanted to do some cool, mischievous things before going back to school. So, we had the genius idea one night to sneak into a nearby community pool. It was actually only a couple blocks away. It's right smack in the middle of a residential area, so instead of sitting on a main road or something, it actually just sat around a bunch of houses on a quiet road. During a hot day, the little parking lot would be full, and the spot would be bustling. But at one in the morning, the place was of course dead. There's obviously a big fence surrounding the whole front entrance, as well as a cage that gets closed up when the place closes. So our best way was to get in through the side. We snuck into the backyard of a neighboring house and hopped the fence over to the pool. It was as easy as that. The four of us took off our shirts and jumped into the pool. Which in retrospect wasn't smart, since any of the neighbors could have heard the splashes and just called the police. But we were dumb high schoolers. It was very, very dark within that whole enclosing. This pool had no lights, which is why it closed at sunset. James, Courtney, and Alyssa were on the other side of the pool, as I was just kind of doing my own thing at first, swimming around and getting my face wet. I saw Alyssa get out of the pool shortly after and run away. I swam over to see what was going on. She was just going to the water fountain, though. The three of us just bopped around in the water for a bit, and eventually we heard Alyssa jump back into the pool from the other side. It was too dark to see much more than her black hair covering her face. But just then we heard Alyssa playfully call something to us as she was walking back to the pool. The three of us in the pool looked at each other. I know they were doing the same thing as me, counting heads. There were three of us on this side of the pool, and here came Alyssa walking over to our side. So who was that on the other side? Ooh. Alyssa got in, but the three of us were distracted, looking at the head bopping around the water across the pool. Oh. James said across the pool, Who is that? Not even two seconds later, the head went underwater and disappeared from view. Really? We took this time to whisper to each other, mostly things like, What should we do? What if that's security? And should we run? Suddenly I felt something grab my leg with force and tried pulling me down into the water. I kicked, splashed, and yelled for help. James came over to pull me out of the pool, while the girls were already running for it, screaming. It wasn't until I got to the stairs of the pool that the grip on my leg was released and I was free. We hopped the same fence we climbed over to get in and ran all the way back to Alyssa's house. I was convinced that whoever that was was a security guard. That is, until they literally tried to pull me under the water. We don't know what to think. There are a few possibilities. Maybe it was just another kid messing with us. Maybe it was a security guard who went way too far. Or, most likely, it was a dangerous person who had ill intents. Yeah, that's supposed to be. That's supposed to be. Maybe it's, a day, maybe it's not a ghost or something. I don't know what I think it is, but uh, that's not a big issue anyway. I think so. But it's so, it's so, it's so scary anyway. It's so scary. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share my videos, you feel me? Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.